Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining me today. It's the 17th of September, 2021, and my name is Justin Lowe of Crestview's VP of Exploration. Today, I will briefly be discussing the results of our 2021 drill program at the Cimarron Gold Prospect. A brief reminder to the viewer, Cimarron is a low sulfidation epithermal gold prospect located in the San Antonio mountain range of Nye County, Nevada. The prospect sits near the northeast boundary of the Walker Lane trend, um, approximately 30 kilometers north of the Tonopah mining town and approximately 45 kilometers south of the world-class Round Mountain Deposit. The Round Mountain Deposit is also a low sulfidation epithermal system and it's produced over 15 million ounces of gold, so it's a true giant right in our backyard. The Cimarron property is comprised of 35 unpatented load mining claims, which encompassed the historic San Antonio mine area. The San Antonio mine was active in the late 1800s to the early 1900s, and the property received extensive attention again in the 1980s, with approximately 190 shallow reverse circulation holes drilled in the um, historic mine area, and a shallow resource was outlined, but never extracted. In May 2021, this year, Crestview drilled four diamond core holes in the historic resource area, and I'm very excited to announce that anomalous gold values were encountered in all four holes. SA01 and SA03 were drilled in the eastern portion of the historic resource, and each intercepted significant zones of gold mineralization. SA01 intercepted 20.7 meters of um, 0.59 gram per ton gold, which started at a depth of 11 meters and included a zone of 8.2 meter zone of 1.11 gram per ton gold. SAO3 intercepted two different zones of mineralization, with the upper zone starting at the surface and extending to 16.8 meter depth of 0 0.59 gram per ton gold. And the lower zone ran from 26.7 meters to 45.1 meters for a total of 18.4 meter of 1.08 gram per ton gold. That also included a 9.3 meter zone of 1.51 gram per ton gold. Uh, SAO2 and SAO4 were drilled in the western portion of the historic resource area, and each intercepted three short intervals of anomalous gold mineralization at similar depths to each other, but much deeper than in SAO1 or SAO3, uh, with the upper zones starting around 65 meters. Uh, the three intervals encountered in SAO2 and SAO4 were at similar depths, and this suggests those zones may be continuous. When taken together, all four of these holes um, data suggest that the system may be continuing at depth to the northwest. The mineralized zones occurred in highly fractured and faulted volcanic rocks of pyroxene andesite, loaded vitric tuff, and volcanic mudflow breccia. Now, the associated alteration included abundant iron oxide, primarily jarosite and hematite, moderate argillic alteration, minor specification, minor propolytic alteration, and late calcite, which are all uh, support the interpretation that Cimarron is host to a shallow, um, low sulfidation oxide gold system. In the wake of our successful 2021 program, uh, we plan to continue drilling in this resource area and testing the continuity of those mineralized zones. We've also got step out holes planned based on good um, indications from the historic data, and we have additional fieldwork planned at Cimarron as well. Uh, that pretty much concludes what I have for you today, and I thank you very much for your time.